Guys, we have a major problem. Major problem. Major, major problem. Gotta cut this off. Alright guys, so you can see we got a little bit of scorch marks left. Uh, seems we had a, our PSU on our Franken K Franken Monster Franken Beast KS2 has failed in spectacular fashion to be honest. Um, I was working at the farm actually on a K10 video um, when I got a notification that this unit had fallen offline and I rushed in here and there were flames bursting out of this thing. Uh, luckily got all these on you know cut off switches. I'm surprised it didn't cut itself off to be honest but maybe it was, I mean it's clearly not a grounding issue or anything like that um, which is what would normally trip that like I think this PSU just like something went real wrong. I, I don't really know. I mean it's rated for three 3,300 watts, and this is what's only taking 2,700 watts, so, so a little surprised there. Um, I'm a little concerned to touch it. It's probably, like, super hot. Yeah, definitely hot to the touch. Um, again, it's already off, but I'll, I'll turn that off, too. Just to, we're going to unplug this. Um, we're going to have to get this out of here. I don't know what to do, to be honest, at the moment. Uh, this is a new one for me. It's just really crazy, to be honest, because of all the things on this thing, you would think something I did would have caught it on fire. You know, like the bus bars just floating out here in space and like maybe punch each other or all this, all this crazy dual brain, you know. But no, just the yes, you burst in the flames here. Like, holy cow! Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. To be 100% honest with you. Uh, hmm. All right, well, we'll get this out onto the table and diagnose what happened, I guess. All right, guys, we're over at the workbench now. Got the PSU off. It's cooled down a bit, still a little warm. Um, we're going to open this up and see, uh, see if we can figure out what happened. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. It's uh, unusable, but... <laughs> Might as well see. I'm going to switch my KS2 back to the uh, not stock PSU, but the 2500 watt PSU that I had previously done. Um, just so I can keep this running and making money, I'm going to therefore have to um, just swap out this double brain I made and back to the OG uh, single one. But um, at least we'll be getting 2.5 terahash rather than 0 terahash. Um, but yeah, let's see what's in this thing. All right, got all the screws undone. You can kind of see some of the, uh, not charring because that's steel, but like, uh, the residue from all the smoke that was coming out on our cables there. So let's, uh, see what we got. Holy cow. That, that's a melted plastic, that's for sure. Holy. Wow. This whole part of the... PSU is just black underneath. I, I don't know how to remove this plastic, but... Jeez. Um, let's see if we can get this open here. One-handed, you know. Something, something. Oh, that's for sure. Hold it. That is... This side is looking okay. Okay, uh, I mean the board still got fried. That that might just also be, you know, grime like this too. Well, I, I guess I don't know. Does this come off? Uh, I mean, it comes off. You can see it there on the finger, but uh, something, something went horribly wrong over here. I I don't know what. I can't even really tell where this started. Maybe. Maybe down there, you can kind of see a, a hole through the motherboard. Not the motherboard, but like a hole through the board here. Um, I'm going to see if we can get this out of here a little better to see what's going on. But holy cow, guys. I don't think I've ever had a PSU fail in this crazy of a fashion before. Well, I, th I think I found the problem, guys. Um, so... 
I mean, I don't know exactly what happened, but it looks like we had a fire on the underside of the board. There's a lot more damage on this side than on the top side. The top side is just black from soot, uh, but you can definitely see that we had some major, major issues here. Um, these are actually, it looks like three layers of um, thermal pads uh, that we've straight up burned. Um, and it looks like some of it is caked to a specific routing in the circuit board. So I'm curious if that's like that got short circuited somehow. Um, like, holy cow. I don't even know it. Like, it looks like some of the fibers in the in the actual PCB like burnt right off and out of the board. Like, holy, holy cow. Is some crazy damage we have here. Um, yeah, just compared to the other side, like this side's just sooty. Um, just a lot of soot on this side, but no like real burn per se. Um, at least that I can see. Maybe you guys see something I don't see. Um, but yeah, like, looks like we just have a massive burn underneath this thing. Um, so I don't think we're going to be using... Actually, oh, oh. you guys see what I'm seeing? I see like these two really dark wires that go up where it like really burnt. I wonder if somehow we arced or something. Like you can kind of see on the side of that unit there. Like maybe, maybe something wrapped around. I found, uh, found this, like, piece of plastic, actually, like, it's kind of, like, just lying for me, so, is this, is this as wide as that? Yeah, kind of, okay, um, this was loose, I don't know what it was attached to, it might have melted off something, but it's about the same width between those two dark marks I was just talking about, you can see there, so, I, I don't, I really don't know, guys, this is crazy stuff, um, but, uh, a little too much excitement at the farm today. Um, I think I'm just going to pull out these little fans just to save them, but everything else I think is, uh, is toast here. Uh, I don't think there's much reason to keep any of this, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we'll save those two little fans, why not? Just in case I have another PSU where they go bad. Um, maybe not. I guess I don't know if these controllers got burnt. <laughs> yeah, they're, honestly, I'll probably just throw them all out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, because, I mean, who knows if, like, there are fluctuating voltages and stuff that damage them. It's not worth it. I'm just going to throw this all out. But, yeah, uh, fun day at the farm. Trying to make a KS K10 uh, how-to video and end up uh, putting out a fire. So, fun times. Uh, but, yeah, that's all I got today. Short and sweet. Uh, hopefully, I have that K10 setup video out to you guys here shortly. Um... So like, subscribe, comment down below. That's all I got until I get that video edited. Until next time.